Hi everybody, this is Terry. And this is Pam. And we are at Healing Circles Wellness Center. Um, this is on Jefferson Street. Um, it's the old Social Security Administration building. As you can see, it's elevator access. And here we are, Healing Circle Wellness Center. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what it's like. We're meeting up with Ellen Roman, who is a massage therapist, and this is her. Medical massage. And she does medical massage. These are all of the um, clinicians that are in the office. And this is the main waiting room. Beautiful view of Frederick. Let's go down and meet Ellen. This is where you would get a treatment from Ellen, and I just got one, and it was amazing. I just got a taste of what Ellen does uh, with medical or massage therapy, uh, medical massage therapy, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, I've gone to other massage places, they're great. But this goes a step beyond of what the other massage therapy places do. Uh, I had low back pain. She did some stretching, some kneading, massaging, um, and it was just amazing. So let's talk to Ellen. As you can see from her brochure, she does medical massage and sports stretch therapy. She works with clients from eight years old and up. The medical massage therapy really will help with not only physical ailments, such as injuries um, and uh, things like fibromyalgia, it's very effective. But research also shows that it releases certain hormones in your body that'll help you with anxiety, uh, with depression, uh, even lactation. Hi, Ellen, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So tell me what got you interested and motivated, motivated to uh, become a medical massage therapist. Well, first of all, I've worked in the medical field uh, as a CMA, which is on a nursing staff since 2011. I've worked in urgent care, primary care, pediatrics, um, and I just noticed that uh, there need to be more focus on kids uh, with depression mm -hmm. and anxiety. And also, uh, we had a patient come in and I could overhear the front desk and the parents saying, I need to put my child on uh, muscle relaxers because mm. their neck hurt. And that's the last thing you want to do to a child. I, I really like that because really, you know, a lot of uh, doctors and uh, healthcare professionals nowadays really target the uh, pain with medicine or uh, they're not really targeting the initial cause of the pain. So I really, really like that. Um, are you finding that you're working mostly with kids, or would you say you have a good amount of both adults and kids? I have a good amount of both. Okay. Um, mostly adults, though. Um, and uh, I guess we'll talk about insurance a little bit later, because that's everyone's burning question. Um, <laughs> but I could always uh, use some more, more kids, because that's where my focus is. Yeah. Okay. Um, whether it's stretching them or massaging. Okay, great. Um, now, I just um, received um, kind of a, a little uh, sample of massage by Ellen, and uh, I had low back pain, so she was able to really loosen up the muscles around my back, uh, my hip muscles, uh, and it was absolutely amazing. So um, what would you say uh, that you can do for people uh, not only with injuries, but people with fibromyalgia, um, or even just an overall, you know, not feeling well? Well, um, definitely it always starts at the doctors first. Uh, they should always get diagnosed by their doctors, see what's going on. Um, and if they haven't been there and they end up on my table first, that's where I'm going to ask them to go um, to get some blood work done and see what's causing that pain that's lasting so long. 
um, even if it's injury. They need to know exactly, exactly what's going on and I need to know that it's safe to work in that area. Um, so fibromyalgia patients have actually become my favorite uh, clients because to be honest, they, they come to me and they've never had a massage before and they're scared because absolutely everything hurts on their body, their whole skin, everything. They have some lymphedema going on and then after their massage, they get up off the table and they say, wow, I'm going to reduce my medicine and I'm going to start doing this instead. And they come see me about every other week. So that is absolutely really cool. amazing. I love that. Um, okay, so as a consumer, why would I choose you over going to just a regular massage clinic? Uh, why would I choose someone who is certified in medical massage versus just, you know, kind of a run of the mill massage place? Well, I also get those run-of-the-mill massages, and they do. They feel great. They feel wonderful. They relax you. Um, but I have extra CEUs, uh, which is continuing education, um, 40 hours extra just on medical issues. So I do have that background um, just from being in the medical field already since 2011. Um, and then the medical part, it just it really focuses in on certain uh, dysfunctions. So say like plantar fasciitis, uh, sciatic pain, uh, hip pain. Uh, shoulder pain, neck pain, um, it's very specific, um, knee pain, you just, you just go down the whole whole list, the whole mm -hmm. body um, that I've been trained in and how to maneuver that specific area. That's great. I like that. Um, she also does stretch therapy, which I don't think I've mentioned. Um, one particular stretch that she did as soon as I got on the table uh, was uh, pulling, you know, my, my foot down you know away from the hip uh and that was like the most amazing stretch i've ever felt so um it's it's just really like very beneficial um we talked about the research that has been done on the benefits of medical massage um, that will help with pain management um and Okay, so we talked to Ellen about uh, payment for her services. Uh, if you go on her website at, what, what is your website? ermassage.net. ermassage.net. Uh, she does list her uh, services and the fees, um, but it's not all private pay. Um, can you tell us a little bit about health insurance and where they come in? Absolutely. Um, so basically, um, every insurance is different, as everyone knows, and some have deductibles and some don't. Um, so I do have my own MPI number, so I am a provider. Um, so all they need to do is call their health insurance and find out if they have massage coverage. Uh, I do have PT codes, which is physical therapy codes that I use. Now I don't have a billing office, so I don't submit it, but I do give the client everything that they need to go ahead and submit it to their insurance for reimbursement. That's awesome. And then they can use money from there at home. Yes, and also yeah. um, I do take HSA cards and flex spending accounts. Um, I can swipe that right through and you'll That's get a great. receipt. That's great. I just have to tell you that Ellen is the real deal. Um, you know, I, you know, as a healthcare provider, uh, a lot of times I go into different situations, and a lot of times I second guess how good somebody is. Um, if they really, you know, can back up what they're saying. Ellen is a real deal, so I highly recommend her. So not only do you um, treat, do medical massage with people with uh, medical issues like fibromyalgia, even cancer, lymphedema, um, but you also work with orthopedic injuries and uh, basic stretching for athletes. Um, you talked to us a little bit about uh, sometimes you actually even go to the sports fields to help them with the stretching. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. It's, uh, I read an article once. Uh, they were saying in this article that um, there's more kids getting injured because parents are pushing them in, from one sport to the next and they're not uh, having any kind of uh, recover time. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely, uh, I, I don't believe that. I think what it is, it's a lack of stretching. Mm. Um, I go to athletic fields, um, even flag football. I'll say I don't see any of them stretching um, and that's where I see the injuries by the end of the game um, a yeah. hamstring pull 
normally is what I see. Wow. Um, so uh, I am mobile. I can do uh, mobile stretching um, right to the field. That's great. Um, whether it's for one individual person or if they want to get the whole team together or <laughs> with five friends together, I can stretch them okay. out for an event. So you do do like group treatments kind of? Yes. Okay, great, great. Okay, so we would like to thank Ellen uh, for letting us come see her office today, for giving us a sample of her expertise. Uh, the girl has magic hands, I'm telling you. Um, but Ellen, tell us where people can find you online. Sure, I'm on um, pretty much all social media. If you go to my website, ermassage.net, uh, there is a hyperlink there. You can go to my Instagram page. You can go to my Facebook page. Sometimes I put coupons there. Oh, Sometimes great. Sometimes last-minute massage That's awesome. On there. Okay. Um, and, of course, you can also book from there as well. You can also text me um, okay. if, you, if you aren't guru with the whole computer thing. You can text okay. me and say, hey, I, I need to set up something but I, I just don't have time or I'm traveling, I'm driving, whatever the reason is. Um, it's always easy to get a hold of me. And I do have reviews on Google. Just uh, type in ER Massage Frederick, um, Maryland. Um, it's very important because there is an ER Massage down in Prince, Prince Frederick somewhere. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> so it's important to get mine. Um, and there are already lots of reviews on there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so... So don't just take our word for it. Go to Google, look at the reviews. Uh, like I said before, she's a real deal. And uh, look her up. It's You will not be sorry. Thanks.